Mm -hmm. Hi, this is Mendo, and this is where we talk about everyday tech. It doesn't necessarily have to be computers. It can be planes, trains, automobiles, whatever affects our lives. We talk about it here. Officials in Japan have plans to build a 310-mile conveyor belt road to replace the need for trucks to carry freight. This is a new proposed project from Japan's Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport, and Tourism. That's a mouthful. And that would see high-tech automated conveyor belts named the Atohoro, or Autoflow Road. This is a $25 billion system that will be used to transport goods between Tokyo and Osaka. And as mentioned before, that's a distance of around 500 kilometers or 310 miles. So that kind of sounds like a train, doesn't it? Well, instead of a train, the Autoflow Road will use a high-capacity pallet system to move up to a ton of freight per pallet and will run continuously 24 hours a day. And by pallet, I don't mean these wooden pallets. It's probably going to be something like these aircraft pallets. The innovative system will autonomously transport these one-ton pallets of various goods, including food, agricultural products, and medications. It's thought that the conveyor-style road could carry as much as the equivalent of 25,000 trucks every day. The Japan Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport, and Tourism is looking to model the Autoflow Road's above-ground belt system after existing high-capacity conveyor belts currently used in the mining industry, like this one. This is a 14-mile belt in Kochi Prefecture, or this 62-mile one in the Western Sahara. The futuristic-sounding system will be used to tackle logistics problems, including a lack of delivery drivers and an increase in freight demands. The Japanese government is hopeful that the Autoflow Road will make transporting freight more efficient. Automated logistics roads are designed to get the most out of road space by utilizing hard shoulders, medium strips, and tunnels beneath the roadway. Alongside helping to solve a looming logistics problem, the new project would also help to cut emissions by taking thousands of trucks off the road. Unveiling the Autoflow Road Plan on June 30th of this year, the Transport Minister, and I'll probably butcher this up, Tatsuo Saito, said the concept will not only address the logistics crisis, but also help to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Look at the scope of the city. This hardly makes a dent, but whatever, I guess it makes good PR. But the fact is, is that this is like Los Angeles and New York having a baby and calling it Tokyo. Just look at all this. So we'll keep an eye on this and circle back around to it. I bet if they do it, it's probably going to be a lot faster doing than the California high-speed rail, or even extending the BART system out past San Jose into Santa Clara County. I was going to talk about how unified memory worked with Apple's M-series chips, but this came up in the news and I thought I'd just go with it because it seemed kind of interesting and I need a change. I can't always talk about computers. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you back here in two weeks.